I'm Josh Halp, and myself, Nina Anader, Lindsay Jones, and Ben Zimmerman worked with FedEx Crown this semester. Our goal was to help them in deciding whether and how to transition from using drop frame and straight rail trailers at the 28 foot length to only using straight rails of this size and what the associated costs will be. Our sponsor for the project is FedEx Ground, and our mentor is George Lesko. They were founded in 1985 and are headquartered in Pittsburgh, PA. They employ over 90,000 people and send around 7.5 million packages a day. FedEx owns the trailers used in delivery, but does not own the physical truck. Their external contractors do. They came to us with the question of whether it was worth transitioning away from using both drop frame trailers and straight rail trailers to just the straight rail trailer in order to implement a material handling system. All right, thanks, Nina. So now let's take a look at the problem statement. Uh, and really what we're focusing on in, with this project is the fact that in the future there's going to be a shortage of labor due to you know multiple companies and warehouses um, being centralized in major cities throughout the country, such as Amazon and UPS. Uh, with that being said, uh, FedEx is looking to implement material handling systems into uh, their hubs and stations, and so there's multiple uh, factors of cost that we analyze throughout this project, and, and that's what we'll go over next. Our approach to this project was to incorporate quantifiable factors as well as qualitative factors and then make a recommendation based off of our findings. The main quantifiable factors were the material handling system, which includes the number of systems and the cost of one system, the transition to buy additional trailers, the maintenance costs, and the labor and operating costs. A few qualitative factors were the unknowns of automation, innovation, and the diminishing labor pool, which Nina will discuss in the next slide. The team is assuming that FedEx Ground will definitely be implementing a material handling system. The rate of return when turning costs into net present value is 5%, and that there is roughly a 25% implementation fee for the material handling system. This is the SWOT analysis we created for our qualitative factors. Our project had many qualitative factors that played into our overall recommendation for FedEx Ground. Our main strength is the decrease in labor costs for unloading operations. The main identified weakness of the transition is the unknowns associated with the material handling system, like specific costs and productivity rate. The main opportunity is innovation. This transition leads to potential increase in market share for FedEx Ground. And finally, our main identified threat is the diminishing labor pool. This increasingly evident threat has the potential to drive labor costs up even more if FedEx does not implement some form of automation. Based on our analyses of the major cost centers of this transition, a 15-year implementation offers a lower cost than either a 5-year implementation or a 10-year implementation. However, the total costs are approximately the same, which means that FedEx Ground should mainly consider the availability of labor and development of the material handling system in deciding how to handle this change. This is fitting given that the availability of package handlers over the next few years is a concern of FedEx Ground. Now that we've taken a look at the results, FedEx will hope to have measured improvement in certain areas from this implementation of material handling systems, specifically in the productivity of unloading packages and being able to handle more packages in the future because the material handling system can unload packages at a faster pace than labor workers. And then also, just with the shortage of labor in the future, this will also hope to have a benefit of measured improvement over time. After analyzing each of the quantitative and qualitative factors, a summary chart was made to compare all three implementation plans. Due to the variability of the material handling system cost, we assumed that FedEx would buy the mid number of systems, 175, and it would cost them roughly $550,000 per system, which is also the mid cost. As seen in this summary table, these costs are quite similar and thus we can conclude that the three plans are cost neutral. The cheapest and most expensive plans do not differ by more than 6% of the most expensive plan. For this reason, we believe it is best if FedEx uses a 10-year implementation plan. In this plan, FedEx will be getting rid of drop frame trailers during their useful lives as well as be proactive in implementing straight rail trailers and the material handling system. In conclusion, we recommend that FedEx Ground use a 10-year implementation plan starting with their largest hubs. This will allow them to wait for technology to improve and costs to decrease for other smaller facilities. 
A 10-year plan allows FedEx Ground to phase out most of their drop frames over their useful lives, as well as to be proactive in buying more straight rails to make the transition more quickly.